Are you or your patient sleeping on the right pillow? At Core Products, we get asked all the time, how do I know what is the right pillow for me or my patient? And this is a good question because there's many types of pillows out on the market and they all do different things. There's a couple classifications of pillows. There's support pillows, there's accommodation pillows, and then there are a few pillows that'll do both. Now, what are those differences? A support pillow is a pillow that actually provides support under the cervical spine or keeps your body in alignment. So with this tricore support pillow, when we're lying on our back, the lobe actually creates proper support under the spine and that will help deactivate the muscles at night and allow them to rest. When you're on your side, the lobe of the pillow here fills in the gap from your shoulder to your chin and allows you to keep proper alignment with the rest of the spine in your body. And once again, allow all those muscles to relax and decompress and, and get a good night's sleep for you and your muscles aren't so tight and sore. Now, these pillows are great for some you know, average patients out there or patients that have uh, been to their doctor or their therapist and, and rehabbed a condition and uh, now need that extra support to get the proper sleep. But for those that have a, a long-term condition or maybe a recent injury, an accommodation pillow is more for them. A support pillow sometimes will be a little bit too much, too aggressive for them. So types of support pillows are, uh, there's water pillows out there, but there's also memory foam pillows. Core also makes some great memory foam pillows. And what these pillows do is they allow the patient to get a good night's sleep whatever their cervical condition is. An accommodation pillow does just that. It accommodates it. It, it conforms to whatever the cervical situation is. So you can compress it. And on a memory foam pillow, as it heats up, it, it, it is soft. So it'll just wrap around that cervical area and just allows the patient to get a good night's sleep. Now, the third type of pillow is one that does both. It'll accommodate and support. So for that, we can go to the Core Deluxe Water Pillow. This pillow can be used in many different ways. You can use it as a standalone pillow without the water bladder. It's got a nice uh, cottony feel to it. It's real soft with the uh, fiber in it. There is also a cervical roll that is built right in here on the pillow that allows you to get a little more support under your neck if you want. And then the water bladder. This can be used independently you can fill it up for soft, medium, or firm support, and the indented chamber here will keep the water from moving around. So you could use the water by itself, and that will make it real comfortable for the patient, or you can insert it into the pillow right here, and then provide all the support you need under your neck if you need that extra support. So once again, you can have a support pillow, you can have a memory foam pillow that is an accommodation type pillow, or you can have a pillow that does support and accommodation. Okay, so now that you know some of the differences in the pillows, what they do, support versus accommodation, the next step is choosing the right pillow for you or your patient. Now, pillows are personal, so there might be some trial and error involved. But one way to determine is this. What's the cervical need of the patient? Do they have a chronic condition? Uh, maybe where their neck is not very flexible and the cervical spine maybe has a fusion to a degree. Or maybe a recent injury or accident, maybe a car accident with a whiplash injury. In those cases, you at least want to start the patient out on an accommodation pillow. The idea there is to make sure they can at least get a good night's sleep. So that's one type of, type of reasoning, and, and you'd want to pick the accommodation pillow for them. If it is a, uh, just your normal patient off the street or somebody who has been rehabbed, and they're saying, you know what, my neck is getting sore again, it was fine, now you want to move to a support pillow. And one of the ways to tell if your average patient coming into your office or you out there who is looking for a new type of pillow could just use a support pillow, ask these simple questions to yourself or your patient. At night, do you like to put your arm under your pillow? Or maybe do you fold your pillow? Or roll and end up and lay on the pillow? Or maybe even stack pillows on top of each other? If you do any of those things, you are subconsciously searching for more support under your cervical spine to get a better night's sleep. And if you answered yes to any of these questions, then a support pillow is probably right for you.